Introducing the all new Corolla. Finally got to the point where we feel ready to be audit ready. Lawmakers heard from Guahan Academy Charter School officials this morning as CEO and Principal Donna Dwiggins and Board of Trustees Chairman Matt Kane sat down for an oversight hearing, this time willing to clarify information that they'd submitted to the Legislative Committee on Education. Speaker Judy Wanpad opened the hearing by reading the resignation letter from former board member George Bamba, which brings up several questions including the reasons for pay disparities between employees at the school. A teacher with a bachelor's degree and a, with limited experience was being paid more than a teacher with a master's degree and more experience. I, I honestly don't know what position he's referring to. The lawmakers also asked school officials about a $5,500 check PNC reported on in December. That check was written to former business manager Jerry Crawford and attached to a confidentiality agreement with the word settlement. Kane says it was simply a prorated payment for work in the month the contractor was fired. I believe that this was just a way to make sure that Mr. Crawford wouldn't come back and sue for the remainder of the money he felt was owed and that this should have, I, I think this should have been in the form of a settlement agreement, but again, that's my personal opinion. But even still, I don't, whether it's standard practice or not, I think it had the desired effect of making sure that Mr. Crawford was sort of agreeing that the payment that he was given would be the final payment for his services, and I haven't seen a lawsuit from him since. The committee also questioned Dwiggins on the use of blank checks signed by the treasurer of the board the week before classes began, and on the purchase of 30 iPads and 30 mini iPads, a purchase which former board members say wasn't approved by the board. We have a board resolution that adopted the technology plan and said that the plan could be implemented as money became available to purchase those items and we had some federal funds released and available to purchase some of those items at that time. And so we moved forward, we, we had gotten three quotes and we moved forward with uh, purchasing some of those items. Today's oversight hearing was a follow-up called in response to a November hearing where GAC's officials refused to talk to lawmakers except through their legal representative who recently stepped down. Since then, Speaker Judy Wanpat and Senator Aileen Yamashita have introduced Bill 23732, which was later signed into law, requiring charter schools to follow local procurement regulations. Betsy Brown, PNC News.